So here's an interesting problem where we have a coin resting on the bottom of a tank of water uh, one meters deep. Um, and then we have on top of the water floats a layer of benzene with a different index of coefficient and that layer is 1.20. And uh, looking down nearly perpendicularly, so a nearly perpendicularly meaning that theta incident is almost zero, <coughs> very close to zero, meaning perpendicular to the <coughs> interface. How, so how far will the coin appear to be from the topmost surface? Okay, so a ray diagram would help on this problem. So uh, let's go ahead and set up a ray diagram. Uh, let's do the diagram right here in the middle. So uh, let's just say that the coin is here and uh, we'll make this the normal and uh, let's say the water rises all the way to here so this height here is one meter <coughs> and mw here is 1.33 Let's extend this a little bit here and uh, let's say that this is the layer of benzene here so let's use a different color for that and B so the this is 0.2 meters and NB here is 1.5 and this is the air so this here n is equal one. Okay, so uh, and let's say that light is reflecting from the coin. So it's gonna go up through three layers here. So uh, we're gonna start here. And let's say this is the normal. And so it's gonna refract and since the index of refraction for benzene is greater, uh, the angle has to be smaller. Uh, so it's gonna refract inwards according to Snell's law. And so uh, why don't we call this theta one? And uh, here, why don't we change the color? So now we're gonna go theta 2 on this guy here and again here it's going to uh, it's going to a lesser index of refraction so now it's going to deflect outwards let me bring this a little bit closer so a second I don't like this let's just try to make the figure a little bit big mm, I'm still not liking this very much one moment So let's go like that and this here is the normal so this will be theta 1 and now uh, let's reflect through this slightly like this 
so this here is fake tattoo and now let's go off the third one and here it's gonna reflect further away from the normal because we're going to a lesser index of refraction and this is fake tattoo 3 and of course if we extend this the coin is going to look like it's here so, and we are required to find the depth of this coin okay so uh, we could use geometry to accomplish this let me I'm gonna close this triangle here so this is 90 and according to Snell's law just fix this theta 2 so according to Snell's law let me go from water to benzene I know that uh, n1 and water now uh, keep in mind that theta is very small because we're looking nearly perpendicularly so theta is if theta is very small using linear angle approximation sine theta is approximately equal to tan theta because tan is sine over cosine and if the angle is very close to zero cosine theta is almost one and so we're gonna get n water sine theta one or tan let's use tan equals n benzene tan theta two theta two is n benzene okay so uh, why don't we call this here L let's put it inside here this is L and uh, we will call this uh, we know what this is this is one Okay, so that means uh, 1.33 uh, tan theta 1 will be L over 1 equals NB. NB is 1.5 over uh, NB is 1.5. Okay, tan theta 2. Now let's extend this triangle here from theta 2 so I'm gonna extend this red line all the way till it hits here so and the reason I'm doing that so I can use the same L uh, so if I so I know that this here is theta 2 of course so if I close this triangle here Uh, this has to be L so then the tan would be L over uh, D2 uh, the distance so that's that would be this red distance from here let's call this Y uh, the from here to here it did? okay you could reconnect if you want uh, I'm on uh, 1972 uh, but uh, I want to use I'm, I'm continuing the coin problem did you have a question on the other one yeah I'm, I'm, uh, I have to try my, I need a trig I think okay sorry for the interruption my student was asking me a question uh, so we're gonna call this Y so we can use that same triangle here the red triangle extending from theta 2 and uh, the uh, tangent of theta 2 in that triangle would be L the same L I used so I, I made sure that uh, these two triangles have the same uh, base uh, so that uh, as you can see over Y L, so tan is L over Y and the reason I did that so that my L can cancel out and I could find my Y to be 
1.5 over 1.33 and this would be uh, put this on the calculator 1.12782 so that's from the interface of the benzene water down to where the ray uh, originates okay now I will go and uh, do sort of a similar thing with uh, uh, a layer uh, between the benzene and the air so if I do that with the benzene and the air so now I'm uh, between benzene and air I'm going to apply Snell's law again and so Snell's law says uh, so in the benzene 1.5 tan theta 2 has to equal uh, let, me, let me write this as NW tan theta 2 equals N air tan theta 3 and so that's 1.5 tan theta 2 has to equal an air uh, which is 1 times tan theta 3 okay uh, well uh, let's see where this uh, theta 3 will intersect here and so uh, I don't want to clutter the figure but let me try to highlight it I'm interested I'm interested in this triangle here uh, with the normal so I'm interested in this triangle and therefore I will project theta 2 to have the same base triangle as this okay and that will be uh, yeah so that's the same triangle so that I drew originally so what is this that's 1.5 oops go back to the pen so that's 1.5 and uh, what's tan theta 2 that would be L over uh, and now I need the distance which I found which is Y plus the uh, so this would be L over the height of the triangle now would be uh, the same height except I have to add the thickness of the benzene to it uh, right because uh, because now it's that triangle is uh, how should I do this? I mean, because it's just going up by this much now. So it's the original length. Uh, so instead of taking it from this point, I'm taking it from this point. So it, it extended. So this is going to be y. y plus the this layer here which is we said point two 
so y plus 0 0.2 and that has to equal tan theta 3 uh, well tan theta 3 is in that triangle I drew uh, the uh, highlighted in yellow uh, that would be L assume um, I exaggerated the base a little bit just for clarity but it's 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 almost the same base it, it is the same base uh, divided by uh, uh, x or uh, whatever the height that we're solving for which is the depth from the topmost layer so I am calling uh, this here let's see what color to choose for this uh, I'm calling this distance from here to here which is this the depth the actual depth of the coin so that's D okay so this D goes here and so L crosses L I found Y up there so I can solve for D that's that's the that's the refract the refracted ray from that surface it will appear to you by looking at it as if the coin was actually here and not here. Let me erase that. So it would look like it's here. Okay, so uh, this is fairly straightforward. So uh, just solving for y now, we will get uh, d. d equals uh, y plus 0 0.2 over 1.5 so that's 1.12782 plus 0 0.2 over 1.5 uh, plugging this on the calculator we will get zero point eight eight five so the coin will appear as it's 0 0.885 meter below the uh, benzene air interface.